And our players now in the bottom right in the red. He was overly aggressive. Can he shift gears? He is. Mester. Maru Prime. And in the upper left, we have this Protoss player playing very craftily. How will he do it this time? He is. New challenger. STXO Trap. And we got the in game music where the flute comes on. <laughs> this is the, the music that plays in my pirate ship boat as I come up behind the castle. Is it? And you see Ooh. Captain Tazes with his eye patch on, a pirate bird on his shoulder. Yeah, of course. Getting close. Of course. How else could it be? Oh. Tasteless. And someone's going, You are Captain Tasteless. We can't possibly invade this. <laughs> and make him walk the plank. Oh, that's. That would be me too, walking goes, the plank. Ah, kill him! <laughs> Alright, well, we All have right. double proxy racks. Um, this actually may not work if the. Protoss gets zealots. Yeah, you know, if this you. This actually may not work at all. If he actually opens with a zealot, a stalker, and a mothership core, which he basically did before, and remember he he started the second zealot last time, which of course Maru doesn't know, but when you do something like that, that's going to be very good against this, because all you have to do is buy enough time for a Nexus cannon. And by the time the Nexus cannon wears out, you're going to have two or three gateways producing enough stalkers that, by the way, have been kiting him the whole time in and out of the range of the Nexus cannon. That this will fall apart like this. We haven't seen this work at this level of play since Heart of the Storm came out. I don't. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Yeah. Either. No. So well, it's, let's it's, see. It's a balls you want. He might be thinking it's a Nexus first though, oh. because it is this map. Right, he's getting the Cybernex score. All right. Well, let's see. But, and, and, oh, and a second gas. He's screwed, man. Yeah, gotta I was be about to say core. he needs to get a Zealot out, and he's not going to. So this should go on to the third game then. As CB is being pulled. Well, we'll see, man. The Mothership Core, uh, if he can get that out and live long enough to use it, that is the biggest deal. Yeah, with the lack of Zealot, definitely going to uh, be a little bit hurtful. Well, if he does get the one Stalker out, he can kite this basically endlessly. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. going to need a Chrono Boost. Please, God. All right. He's Chrono Boosting that. Stalker. And he's, ooh, he started a probe instead of Mother's Report. Well, he's still working up a lot of gas. So, oh, I don't like this drill at all. No, it's not good. I think I understand, but I don't like it. Uh, okay, so he doesn't... He's not even going to try for Mother's Report, and I think that's rightfully so. And yeah, I think he has to get a second Stalker out and try to uh, buy time here. Mm. Did he actually get... Did the, did the bunker finish? Uh, yeah, the bunker finish. Bunkers up and everything. Okay. Now, well, yeah, GG. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, game three it is. <laughs> On to game three. All right. Well, I mean, that's just that happens sometimes. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can't get caught off guard by that. Good, good build order choice by Maru. Made it work. Maru's like, all right, sweet. Now it's even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One one now. It's like, all right. This guy is a pretty good opponent, but I can take him. I could take him. Well, what can Gerard tell him here? He's like, just go Banelix. That's what I always did. It's like, Gerard, this is neither the time nor the place nor the races. <laughs> Gerard actually a very good coach, though. All right, One of the best ones out there. Yeah, yeah. well, he has pro gaming uh, credentials. You know, he's a Warcraft 3 pro. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was a Starcraft 2 pro for a little bit before he really took on the responsibilities of the Prime team. All right, uh, well, the third uh, game for these two is going to be a Newkirk Precinct. All right, well, Newkirk Precinct. This map can be pretty fun for the matchup. Uh, of course, drops are going to be something that Protoss has to be looking for the whole time. Yeah, very often you do see Oracle openings from Protoss. Uh, you have to be careful where you make your Stargate, though, because Terrans are on top of looking for it on this map. They're really good at it. Yeah. So... Also, a uh, Reaper opening is quite nice here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Reaper opening versus an Oracle. Yeah, we absolutely could. I don't think we're going to see any cheese, though, in this uh, game. Yeah, probably not. I don't, think, I don't think any cheese. I think you're right. Just probably a standard TVP. Marl might try something a little tricky, but um, like, we're probably not going to have like, double proxy racks. No, 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 no. No, definitely not. Not here, Tasis. Not here. Let's not be real, tonight, guys. Not here. Not here with you and me, Artosis. No. Not happening. Mm -hmm. Tasis would double proxy rack him and win, but of course, no. the real Tasis. Yeah, will. man. After I'm done beating Flash, I, like do it again. People are like, 
Is this guy just going to keep doing this? No. Like, the thing is, the, they don't figure it out for a long time. You and then much when they interview me, as I win, I give this like really arrogant interview where I'm like, I could not use my real strategy until I was in the finals. Ah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> People all over My the favorite world. type of interview. People all over the world hate me. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, I could, I could go on like this forever. But um, we're almost ready to start the match. Yeah. And we are. I'm ready, Artosis. Are you? I am I am very ready. This is our last game of the night. It's actually, it you is. know, it started out like really quick and kind of bad. Kind of. But it's really picked there up. There were some pretty bad games earlier today. Yeah, there were. Uh, but there yeah, some pretty... the second half has been... Completely <sighs> acceptable to me. And yeah. I feel like I'm really interested about utilizing uh, DTs a bit more against aggressive players and stuff. It's like I, I want to look into it a bit more. You know, DTs were uh, a little bit of an untapped resource in Wings of Liberty due to the price and the yes, timing to get them out. So, that's so true. You that's know, a well-said thing. Where now that they're much more available, yeah. you can go, you can get them and get there fast. Well, wow, right. Let's do this, Artosis. You do the outro this time. Let's see if you can do it. All right. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. I knows how I haven't started yet. Yeah. Because these guys take a long time. All right. Here we go, guys. Maru against Trap. The map, Newkirk Precinct. We are going to get this started. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like we're ready to start. Oh. No, this one.